What's going on guys? Um, I received this Samco Sport silicone coolant hose kit. It's a prototype kit for the 2019 and 2020 FTR 1200s like I have right here. Um, I already took it down a little bit. I'm not going to go through the details of removing the seat and the tank panels. There's already a ton of videos for that. Uh, what you will need to do is remove the radiator shrouds. It's just two little bolts here and then a clip pin. And then to remove the radiator, it's only one single bolt. And what you do is you slide it to the uh, right and it'll come off this little mount down here. And it gives you full access to every hose. Um, the most challenging hose, I think, is going to be this guy right here. Which comes in to that guy right there. Um, this T fitting is the radiator hose that you currently have a recall on for all FTRs. Um, this kit actually replaces that hose. So, for this particular kit, um, it just so happened that I have the RR tank panels and red wheels on my bike. So, they had red available. As you can see, the red is pretty darn close. Um, as far as the recall goes, this is the new part number hose for the recall. It is um, the last three digits are 558. And this kit replaces it. I'm against the wheels too. Uh, lighting really affects this red a good bit, but it's pretty close. It's They do have a bright red. Um, say if you have a 2022 and you uh, have the flat white paint job or even just the base, the red would accent it quite nicely. So I decided to start off with the hardest part first. And it's this little, this lovely T-junction right here where the recall's at. Uh, it has this hose that goes right here into the top. And obviously it's three-way union there. Uh, what I did to make it easy for me, I actually took a razor blade, a long one, and slipped this down in. That way I could take this clamp and slide this piece off of it. And then I could hold this clamp to this clamp, and then this piece will slide right off. Uh, what I used, a set of long needle nose, a set of 90 degree long needle nose. Uh, they do make a hose clamp specifically for this, but I really wasn't planning on doing this so soon. And so here's where I'm at. Um, now what I'm gonna attempt to do is pull this entire hose out this way. I already have that hose disconnected from here. Um, and then those two other hoses that you saw on the other side, um, they go here and here. Um, this hose should slide out right there. And it came out exactly how I wanted it to. So what I do is I go ahead and transfer these two with the new supplied hose clamps and feed it back through and then work on that T-junction. Alright guys, and now we're done. So, I don't have a head mount or chest mount for this, so I really couldn't film while I was struggling with this T-junction inside here. As you can see, there it is. Um, you can do it, obviously, without dropping the engine. Um, it's a little bit of a pain. So what I did was I positioned it on the thermostat housing and then the forward cylinder first. And then kind of work the aft piece on and then slid everything around. Obviously, the thermostat housing and this hose and the other hose in it slid right in. What I did, it's not recommended by Samco. Um, they want you to use their clamps, but I personally liked using these for these center section hoses. Just due to clearance issues. Um, you can use the hose clamps if you want. Also, being that this is a R&D kit, I had to go out and get different clamps for here. Um, they don't recommend this style clamp either. They want you to use a smooth one, so they're actually sending me more clamps in the mail. Um, the test fit, and I'll be taking these off. This is just what I had in my toolbox to get this thing back together and be checked. Other than that, all the other clamps are from them, and they fit perfect, look great. Come around to the other side. And here are your two hoses that run behind your radiator there. Uh, again, those clamps, I'm going to be changing these out once the new ones come in. And the other hose that sits in here, sits in the OAM cradle. And shoots right over through to the thermostat housing. Went ahead, filled her all up. 
Did a couple heat cycles, made sure the fans turned back on, make sure everything was connected back there, make sure there's no leaks. And overall, I'm pretty darn happy with it. The red matches the OEM Indian red pretty good. Um, if you have a race replica, this should match your frame pretty good. They do have a brighter red, so if you have a 2022 FTR that's white or black, um, that bright red would complement it quite nicely. And I'll get everything put together and get some outside videos. Here is the final product out in the sun. Sorry about the wind, but on top of this lovely little hill here. But here you can kind of get a view of them in the sun. It is just the right amount of red. Um, those guys over there are great. They uh, overnighted the right clamps for these two smaller hoses in the perfect size. So when you guys get the kit, it will have the right size clamps that you need. And then it'll come over here and then down there on the T-junction. Overall, really happy with this kit. The fit and finish of it is perfect. And not to mention, gets rid of that faulty part. Keep an eye out on uh, my Instagram. There. Uh, I'll post when uh, this kit becomes fully available and you can purchase it.